We are working on a multi-part report on the price of freedom. The story is about military secrets, classified government documents, and much more. The history of this story is at times hard to believe, but it all really happened, and it begins back in World War II. For years, we've told you the stories of the men who fought in the Pacific theater of World War II, such as the late K.O. Irwin. He was a survivor of the sinking of the USS Indianapolis. Back in 2016, he told us about the battles he saw with his own eyes. I was at Tarawa, the Marshalls, the Marianas, the Gilberts, Saipan, Tinian, Guam, Iwo Jima. And he saw a lot more fighting than just that. But this story is about the land where that second battle happened. Tarawa, the Marshalls. The Marshalls, the Marshall Islands. The Gilbert Marshall campaign was fought over the months between November 1943 and December 1944. In 1945, World War II ended. In 1946, the United States started testing nuclear weapons in the Marshall Islands. In 1947, the U.N. gave the U.S. authority over the islands. They tested dozens of nuclear weapons. The testing lasted for 12 years. I take <laughs> that every day. In the late 1970s, the United States sent more than 4,000 American service members to remove radioactive soil and debris from the islands of the Inuitak Atoll and the Marshall Islands. It looked like paradise, but Cleveland's Bucky Holmes has been living with the fallout of what happened there in the years since he left the Army. Everybody thinks that they're just waiting for us to die so that they can uh, not have to deal with us. And... Uh, I know a lot of us are fighting for our own lives. And we are just scratching the surface on this story. We'll have much more on these veterans and the Marshallese people as well coming very soon on the price of freedom.